morning all on this summary july 15th 2019 just getting on at past 9 25 a.m central daylight time so looking at the marketplace we have a higher stock market as a whole you're missing in the russell it's the laggard right now you're flat in the gold market up a bit in the silver and the other metals the dollar index has bounced a little bit from last week but nothing major is you're not moving around very much in the other currencies although the yen and the pound they're down a bit and of course the pound's still dealing with uh, who's going to be and we're going to know very shortly now this week who's going to be the next prime minister and what the game plan is going to be there on the energy, Hurricane Barry did not create the problems that it could have created. I'm not saying it's not problematic and those that are feeling it and flooded out, I know what you're going through. But it's not as bad as it could have been and very important. The first test of the levees, uh, the new ones that are surround New Orleans, did their job. They passed that test. The levees that were failing were the private levees made out of ground, if you will, and we saw a number of them uh, back away, but the Army Corps of Engineer was there to help. In the grain market, good weather. Now remember, you're at a time of the year. We, we ran up because we didn't get enough planted. You know that already. Now the question is, what's in the ground? How does the weather treat them for growing and so on? And normally it's good and you expect to see some pressure. That's the phase I think we're in. Bonds and notes. Uh, now the, mother, the market is looking at mother central bank and saying, okay, we know what you're going to do. You're going to try to force the curve yield away from the inversion that it did. In the Bitcoin era, if you took a look and you listened yesterday, uh, last week carefully to Fed Chair Powell and the questions being asked him by the Senate and by the House, you got the impression, at least I walked away with it, that an easy ride for Facebook and its Libra, nah. It's good that Facebook br brings it up. It's good that that's for those digital currencies. The problem is to take a high-tech company, make it a suddenly a financial institution with its own currency, and the idea behind digital currencies is they can't be tracked, do you honestly think that's going to get passed easily? No, that's not going to get passed easily. So already the House Financial Services Committee is opening discussions on it. It's a way of saying we're going to get in your way. Just think of it that way and you're probably on a good turf. Now in looking at the day's events, if we look at China, and that's what today is really about, their GDP fell to 6.2%. That sounds to you great because here it is still 6%. Boy, America's having trouble anywhere from 1.2 to 3%. Yeah, but that's a 27-year low. Got it? They haven't been that way since 1992. And as you go through all these numbers, and I'm not expecting you to read them. I'm putting them together already for my morning research report, the expectations come together that uh, analysts are going to expect that the, the central bank is going to take rates and cut them and let the banks borrow at a better rate. And they'll probably drop again the amount of reserves that a bank has to keep up at that point in time. As for the rest of it, the uh, New York State Empire survey came out and the headline number was good, which again is a bit of a headwind if the Fed's going to cut interest rates. It was 4.3. The market was expecting a 2.0. As you look at everything else, though, the numbers that are within it, they are still weakening numbers. So while the headline number is good, it's not the case for everything else. You know, one of the things that I like to do is teach. I'm sure if you're watching this, you, you know that already. And one of the ways I teach is with my digital charting course. Everything is online. And online means I can go in, update easily, don't have to send things to you, and it all comes about very quickly. I teach my swing lines. I teach five indicators because I think that that's the key. The indicators you use, and I pick these five because they complement each other and filter each other out. So you're going to learn stochastics, Bollinger Bands, window envelopes, moving averages, and the swing line that I teach. It'll end up looking like this. It will make sense to you when you're through with the course. I teach you on the window envelopes how to put the numbers in them. I teach money management in it. I teach that you're able to get my twice daily written and oral updates along with my morning subscriber video. It's all thrown into the course. So how do you find out more about the course? It's really simple. You can either call my staff to walk you right through it or you can go to our website 
under the word education iris charting course we have fax pages there and those fax will answer all the questions you need you can then sign up and away you go why not take the summer out how long does it take to complete the course well under well under 25 days 20 days and i'm assuming you're not putting in more than a half hour a day do more than that you get more odd that it's that simple so again you get all that, you get my regular subscriptions, you get the charting software, and education. There's about six hours of video time on this, so that gives you an idea how much is there, quite a bit. I'm I. Rapstein. You have a great day. Hope you take advantage of this, and I will see you later this afternoon with our end-of-the-day videos.